Please enjoy this feature presentation of the Crooked River Radio Network. This program is rated for all audiences. The World According to Elmer is sponsored by CrookedRiverRadio.com. Crooked River Radio is an internet radio station that is live 24-7 playing top 40 hits from the 60s through the 80s. You can find us on Live 365, Simple Radio, Roku, Radio Garden, and even Alexa, as well as our website. Come on and join us on the Crooked River. Welcome aboard. We're headed for the world according to Elmer. With hosts Jerry Sorensen and Pat Morrow. Don't worry, you'll enjoy it there. Better buckle in and enjoy the ride. Here come our hosts now. And here we are. Welcome and good evening. We're happy to have you right here on the Crooked River at the World According to Elmer. I'm your host, Jerry Sorensen, KG8RRY, my ham radio call sign. And that fellow sitting right over there in that chair is Mr. Pat Morrow. He is our Elmer and he is N8O Quickie Pizza. <laughs> N8OQP. Yeah, I Patrick, like quick pizza. <laughs> how are you this week? Have you had a good week? Oh, yeah. Doing all right. We, uh, Pretty much uh, just veg pretty much all weekend. Had uh, quite, a, uh, quite a uh, weekend for the station. We had, we did a 70s. We started out with 60s Saturday or 60s Friday night, ran 60s till Saturday night, ran 60s or 70s from Saturday night to Sunday night, and then we added music of the uh, music of America to the 70s from Sunday to Monday. My well, now that was quite a week. I'm, I'm going to tell you it? the truth. My my uh, listeners hours went up about probably twenty to twenty five percent. I was That's really amazing. impressed. And it's it's incredible how uh, well you know most of the people <coughs> our age, <laughs> whatever that age may be, Pat. I don't really want to go into detail. Old enough to know better, but too young to resist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Well, you know, we're not listening to the new stuff. It's amazing how. All of us are still sitting around and listening to all this stuff from the 1960s and the 70s and the 80s, and that's the best music. I figured out, Pat, why this generation we have now is so angry. They're angry all the time. Because the music know, sucks. Their music sucks. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> so there it is. Well, let's talk about the radio that really matters, though. How much time did you spend out on the bands this weekend? I tuned around here and there. I didn't do a whole lot. I was going to shoot for the uh, 13 colonies, but never got there. I, you, you haven't you haven't 13 yet? Oh, that's all I did this weekend. I, I was haven't. On the, uh, uh, I was on the uh, radios here, the Swans. <laughs> they were fired up. And we were out hunting down uh, 13 colony stations, and man, what a madhouse out there! I heard some, I heard some pileups like I have not heard since last year during 13 colonies. And you get a few of these stations on. I called, uh, I called uh, the station from France. I called him for an hour and a half before I finally got through. Wow! What a horde of people waiting to talk to this guy. Wow, that, that's yeah, it was that's it was quite a bit. But you know, that's, England, he, that's what you get when you have a pile up. Yeah, well, and, and you know, the nice thing about having two radios at home is they tend to pound their way right through those pile ups. But uh, wow, it, it was incredible. And the faraway stations, the guy from uh, Great Britain was the same fellow that was on last year. And, uh, he's a real nice guy. So they have a lot of good people that have joined together to make that whole 13 colonies thing happen. And if anybody is associated with the 13 colonies, and we'll get to a couple stations here in a few minutes, I'll show you what their stations look like because uh, they put them up online on social media. But anybody that comes across this broadcast or is listening this evening that is involved in that, that really is a tremendous special event. I, I consider it more than a contest. And it highlights, uh, for, for us that are patriotic, it highlights the importance of the July 4th uh, time of year here in our country. And it makes us think about our independence and it makes us think about those folks that gave their lives for our independence and for this country. So thanks for bringing 13 colonies to the table. It really is one of the great summertime things about ham radio. 
In fact, I have got some slides. Did you find the, the slides that I sent you today uh, in your email box? No, I didn't find them. Uh -uh. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I got a feeling you did. Oh, I, we're going to go to them now, hey, I think. Hang but, on a second. Uh, let's see what, Rome wasn't see what we day. got here. I, I've, got some, I've got some 13 colony slides here. First of all, uh, the first slide, Yeah, I'll give you a belated happy Independence Day to, uh, tonight, uh, Pat. We're, <laughs> we're a day beyond it, but... I didn't have a chance to tell you yesterday, so uh, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July at your place. Uh, you said you didn't do a whole lot, but that's okay. And sometimes that's that's the way to handle the whole but thing. But the only thing we did is eat. <laughs> and you know what? There's nothing wrong with that, is there? we got to do that every so often to we sustain have, life. We have we a... Have the uh, youngest. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We, well, have, we have a... The youngest son come, up, come over yesterday and... Uh, and we were able to fire the grill up, and uh, so we had uh, chicken, barbecued chicken on the grill last night, Pat. We had, um, we've got this vegetable place down in a valley. I yeah. won't plug them, but they're called, they're, their name is Zelays. Um, <laughs> <laughs> their initials are Zelays. <laughs> and uh, it's probably some of the best corn and uh, vegetables in the, in northeast Ohio, put it that way. It, yeah. um their their corn isn't in yet. It won't be in for a couple of weeks. But the stuff they had was from Georgia and uh, tomatoes. I Georgia, don't know South where, Carolina. Yeah, that's tomatoes. Where that's I don't know where they from. came from, but those were really pretty good too. So we yeah, ran down are. there, picked up some uh, some tomatoes and some corn and uh, cucumbers and stuff like that, and had us a good little uh, good little dinner with all that plus a steak last night. So. Oh well, now now we're talking. Uh, beef was what was for dinner at uh, <laughs> at our Elmer's house. That's nice. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad you guys had a good weekend. It's all good. Yeah, that's one of the great things about Northeast Ohio. We get a wide variety of food here. And if you're from Northeast Ohio, you have no excuse not to have excelled in the 13 Colonies uh, Special Event Station event that is on right now. I mean, look where the stations are uh, located at, folks. You've got one in New York, KA2A, and then you've got your station in Virginia, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland. There's a trend here. All of these stations kind of are in close proximity to the state of Ohio. So anybody in Ohio should have all of these done. You should have them done in about the first eight hours of the contest, I think. But uh, you've got all your basic stations there in all of the 13 original colonies here in the United States of America. And then you've got your special event stations at the bottom. You have the station from France, which is on the left, uh, my left anyway, as I look at this screen. They are Tango Mike 13, call, C-O-L for colonies. Uh, the, the station in Philadelphia, the American special event station that has been on a lot this year and has been on every, uh, every different mode, to my knowledge is uh, Whiskey Mike 3, Papa Echo November, uh, William Penn. And there, there he is right in the center at the bottom. And then the station over in Great Britain, uh, the GB13COL. That's the station for those people over there that still think that we are ungrateful, treasonous people. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. And I noticed that last year, I don't know if it's the same this year, but the card that they used, Pat, was the card from the Battle of New York, which was a decisive win for Great Britain in the Revolutionary wonder War. wonder how that so happened. If the, <laughs> so if the whole thing had gone the way uh, the, the Battle of New York had gone, we would still be uh, paying tax on our afternoon tea. And so, so that's the card they chose for Great Britain. Go figure. Keep in mind that during the Revolutionary War, uh, uh, we liked the French a whole lot better than we liked the British. And, uh, you know, it was what it was. Those were different days. But uh, at any rate, there there you are. So that's the annual 13 Colonies events. I noticed on the DX Engineering, not to plug them, uh, program today where they were talking about 13 Colonies, the cards have been changed, or at least some of the uh, cards have been changed. So uh, it should be interesting. Yeah, course, there's this there's, is a brand a, new certificate here. With DX engineering, I got a quick little story for that. Uh, when I saw that, uh, yeah, of course I'm tuned into the Maslin page, 
You know, I followed right. them a while back. And when you guys posted that thing, I, of course, I know, I've known Tim for ages. But I I just realized that uh, um, ZWT is on there. KZWT, which is yes. uh, um, Jeff Phelps. And I, I've known him. That was probably the second or third person I talked to on the radio. When, uh, really? When I first came into ham radio, yeah. I've known Jeff a long, long time. I knew he worked there, uh, but I just didn't know he was doing podcasting and that. Well, he does an outstanding job on that show. If I ever I get a chance, I'm going to see if I can talk him into coming on, coming on one of the shows here. Yeah, uh, please do. I I he would be, be a great guest to have on. He's a good common sense guy, and he's a good ham operator. And, and uh, he knows his stuff. And, and you can tell when he talks, because some of the stuff he's talked about, I actually was somewhat knowledgeable about and everything that he said checked out and uh, so i consider him to be a good guy yeah he'd be great on our show uh, if you have a chance to see him please do invite him let's have him on all right i'll do that. all right let's move forward here and see what else i got i've got some of the uh some of the different oh here's one of the cards see this is a different card now for k2b than they had last year this one is uh the battle of yorktown and uh, that's a pretty cool card. And that's one of the great things about participating in 13 Colonies. Make sure you send in for your QSL cards because uh, they're fantastic. And, and what a nice uh, addition. I've got all of mine framed and up on the wall in a uh, poster frame. So a couple of the stations put their stations up on social media. And uh, this next slide is one of those. This fella, uh, Robert, Let's move on down. There, there you go. He has operated as K2I, K2 India, and uh, that station. And there is his station. When you hear K2 India, that's the station that's being operated right there. Nice DX rig down there. Now, this next one here is uh, K2M, uh, the PA station. And here's uh, a couple of hams that are sitting in that station, occupying that station. K3STL, his cousin, uh, KC3PXQ, and then Bob uh, WC3O, and he is the manager of K2M, and they were all operating for K2M at the Skyview Radio Society uh, on July 2nd. So if you talk to them that night, that's where you were talking to right there. Kind of interesting stuff. Okay, the uh, next one. This fella, uh, I, I thought about our guy, Anthony, uh, when I saw this, and I thought I would go ahead and grab this and throw this up here tonight. Here's Chris. He is KE8DZL, and uh, there he is. He's running his portable station. Now, he's using 20 watts, and, and you can see from his uh, paper down there that he has uh, what appears to be uh, a clean sweep minus the bonus stations. So uh, he did pretty well, I think, on 20 watts, don't you? Yep. And so there's, uh, and that, that, that fella, Anthony, he, that's what he does. Um, okay, the uh, double, now this is something you don't see a lot of, although they have been doing this the last couple of years at the ISS. Seems like about every quarter, the IR, ISS will do the, uh, the uh, SSTV, now, the slow scan TV is more like sending an email with an attachment. And what they do with the ISS is they send pictures out. Some of the, whoever is on, uh, whatever astronaut is, is on the station at the time, will have a picture that uh, pertains to where they come from, wherever that is. And so WM3PIN, uh, that's this station, uh, sent out an SSTV. Uh, as part of the 13 colonies this year. And it says there were three contacts. And, and that amazes me. There's still people that uh, are doing SSTV. But you can see the 13 colonies card they made up there at the bottom. Uh, uh, and it says, of course, day, which means uh, from uh, WM3PEN. So there you go. The signing of the Declaration of Independence right there. So if you're into SSTV, even you can play. And then here's another one that I thought of when I saw this. There's another 20-watt station out there in the wild and uh, setting up in the tent and uh, got the American flag out there. It's a pretty cool setup, and uh, I enjoy seeing that kind of thing. 
God bless those guys that are getting through, Pat, with 20 watts. When you consider there's a bunch of people out there and they're running 1.5 kilowatts, it seems, it seems like, to get through to these stations. I honestly don't know how the 20 waters have a chance, except for the fact that they must be skilled operators and they must have good propagation. That it's all day. in the timing. It's all, all in the in timing. The, you think it, it, just the timing matter, you think? If, if you take it um, from, I know quite a few people that uh, I will pr pretty much tell you the same thing. You have to know okay. when, whenever you key your microphone, you have to know when there's going to be just a tad of laps. Yes. And you can do that when you listen. And if you can get your voice in that, that little bit of a lapse, that they're, they're going to hear you and it don't matter. You know, the, the other stations will probably either unkeyed or just getting ready to key. So. Yes. Timing is everything, Pat uh, it, it, says. And so I, I have to take your word for it because I have no experience whatsoever except for the three nine-watt calls that I made at field day, uh, with the, the one to Canada and the other two here in the Northeast. But uh, uh, I was amazed. At, and you, you think for a minute that nine watts can't be heard by another person. You're sorely wrong. It can be. And like Pat said, you have to give the other person a chance to hear you, though. Yep. So pick your spots. <laughs> pick when you're going to speak. This is the station. I, you probably can't tell where this station is from, can you? No. Uh, <laughs> not at all. This is, this is, this is uh, the British station, and of course. <laughs> there it is. These are, the, uh, these are the oppressors. You are looking into the station of the oppressors. Uh, folks right here, the people that were raising our, our tax on uh, tea. Uh, there was these guys right here. But uh, they do have nice radio gear. And his station, I have to say, does sound very, very good on the air. So hats off to our station, our uh, great British station that is with us for 13 colonies. That is his antenna, by the way. You see that he rents his antenna for 13 colonies? <laughs> Pat, this is a this is an idea for you. I can see you with one of these out in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would your neighbors say? Pat? They're kind of expensive to rent. Are they? Yeah, they're a couple <laughs> hundred bucks a day. I see. Well, we've, we've, I've actually looked thought... into. Well, we've had some club stuff that we've had to get done, and I've looked into renting those things before. Yes, that's. Um, those man lifts are kind of expensive on the on the rental side. So you side. think you think this is a pricey way for him to go? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Not okay. that I wouldn't try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working for him on the uh, thirteen colonies because he sounds great. So, you know, there you go. This is a tip, guys. If you don't have a if you don't have a tower, you've got an important contest coming up. Here's a tip. Pro tip from the world according to Elmer on the Crooked River Radio Network. One of the other great surprises this weekend, Pat, were the POTUS stations. All in all, I worked nine POTUS stations yesterday. They were right there with the 13 colony stations. And POTA and 13 colonies, for some reason, seems to go together. And I worked this nice lady. I can't recall her call sign. There was, Like I said, there was nine of them. You know, we five here and four over here. Nine, nine uh, POTUS stations yesterday. Wow. So uh, she was one of them, and she had a very pleasing voice. I remember that on the radio. And this next picture is her putting her antenna up. It's incredible when you've only got 9 or 10 watts and you're working on that kind of an antenna that you can talk to anybody, Pat. Yep. Now, but there it is, and it works. So what do you know? This uh, I talked with another fellow from down in Kentucky. He had a photo station, and that's where he was set up. What do you think of those dead? A little bit of, uh, it's not, it's not uh, salt water, so it wouldn't do you a whole lot of good. Yeah, if it was, <laughs> oh, if I, it was salt I water. You're, you're instantly thinking, instead of me looking at this Propagation, picture, buddy, hey. propagation. <laughs> That's what he would, He was in a beautiful park that day. No, Pat isn't thinking that at all. Pat's thinking, dang it. Propagation. That's not salt water, so that won't help with his ground <laughs> plane. <laughs> No wonder you're an Elmer, Pat. That's you're always right. thinking radio. That's right. I'm just thinking, this is a nice place this guy has set up. 
and you're looking at it from the uh, propagation and, and the uh, you know the ability the takeoff angle of the uh, of the signal exactly that, <laughs> what uh, what else is there <laughs> what else is there here's a uh, rock down in Stark County this is treaty uh, this is a treaty rock is, is what it's called and this had an important uh, historical event in Ohio and Pennsylvania history and uh, this was a place where there was a line that the Indians could not cross and the French could not cross. And this thing uh, went through Massillon, Ohio. And this rock was the marker that set by the Ohio and Erie Canal, what would be the Ohio and Erie Canal, uh, that uh, was the, the spot where this line went. And I show you a picture of the line on the next slide. This was the, there it is, the treaty line. And the Indians had to stay on one side and the French had to stay on the other. Well, this. This is a uh, this this rock is in Stark County, and we're going to do some poda out there uh, this upcoming month. So I wanted to show it to you, and I will show you more as we go through the process of getting our poda organized and running it that day. We'll have some video. We are in the process. Uh, my club is in the process of putting together. Uh, last September, we did a uh, parks on a summit parks on the air. Um, it's going to expand a little bit this year. We've already inv invited the uh, uh, Sarah group, and uh, they're talking about inviting Portage. I can probably get you guys down there an invitation if you'd like one. That'd be awesome. Please but, do. Uh, it'll be sometime, probably around the, the first week of September is when they're talking. So uh, okay, I'll uh, I'll keep you all posted here. But, uh, yeah, please do. Uh, that that'd be awesome. We We'd did that last year, and it turned out really pretty well. So I think we can do okay. it again. Okay, I'm oh. looking forward to it. I'll let you know. Okay, uh, here is one of the folks I talked to. I, I pulled this off of his QRZ page, W2SMF, and uh, and just like I say, it was wall to wall. If it wasn't 13 colonies this weekend, it was sparks on the air, and they were everywhere amazing how how good some of these guys sound and gals sound that are out of the parks they've got good setups even in spite of the fact that most of them are using low watt <laughs> i gotta see what else i gotta happens. tell you i wouldn't want that call sign permanent there <laughs> the, phonet no, well, you the know, phonetics okay. are the, the phonetics are kind of uh, uh you know right <laughs> yeah okay uh, this, next, <laughs> this next one here, uh, which also has inter an interesting call sign, the American Medical Association might like this one, W2AMA. This is another of the QRPers that, uh, that I was talking about that were out there, uh, the people doing photo. He says he works the world on five watts in a wire. <laughs> well, that works You're the too. 100 watt in a wire. Guy. 100 yeah, watts or less. A five watt wire. <laughs> 100, watts and 100 watts or less. That, that'll work. There you go. Five, five watts, five watts, and you can have the world right there. Uh, the world is at your fingertips and nobody knows it. And I think we're done. And so that's the latest and the greatest from out in the field uh, this evening. I, I pulled a couple of QSL cards out here at home uh, only because they were different. This one came in this week, and I'm featuring this one because this is homemade. I dig homemade cards, and I've showed you a bunch of them in the past. This fella here is uh, whiskey. Alpha 8 OJR, and this was a CW call back in uh, June, as you can see. And he's a fellow SKCC guy, as you can see down here. He, he uh, He's one of us. Yep. And then the other one I pulled out for you out of the bunch uh, that came is this one, because I thought this was very cool. This guy had a cartoon made out of himself, and it actually is a pretty good, I mean, not a goofy cartoon, uh, uh, you know. A uh, nice drawing. So he's Dan spent some money on this. This is Alpha Charlie One Kilowatt Victor, and uh, there he is in all his uh, glory sitting there. He's got his uh, code key, and he's got his uh, keyer, and he's got his uh, his computer sitting over there. So there you go. This was a CW call also, and uh, and there you are. So nice to talk to you. Seventy three. And looking forward to talking to you again one of these times on the bands. And so that's what's happening in, in the QSL department. We have got a 13 colonies video today. So since we're on the subject of 13 colonies, let's roll that thing. And then you and I can come back after the video and we can talk about it. 
Okay, that's the chasing, right? The, um, the chasing. You got right? one on. Uh, you got one on thirteen colonies and one on photo. Okay, thir the chasings are thirteen colonies, I think. So yep, be that's sure. the one. All right. Well, this we'll... is the world according to Elmer Gang on the Crooked River Radio Network. That is Pat Morrow. He is our Elmer. He is in eight OQP. I'm Jerry Sorensen, KG8RRY, and we will see you back after this video. What's up, Ham Radio? KE8PZN, the Ham Radio Adventure Guy here. And for the next seven days, we're going to be doing the 13 Colony Special Event, or however long it takes us. Uh, it's been storming a lot, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to get on over the next couple of days, but... Uh, we're going to get a clean sweep. We're going to get all 13 colonies of this special event. Um, the ideal behind the 13 colonies is to celebrate uh, America's freedom. And uh, basically, you've got to contact the original 13 colonies of the United States. Um, each one will have a one-by-one -one call like K2A, K2B, K2C, and so on. And you've got to uh, contact all... 13 of them, fill out the log, send it in, and you will get a certificate for a clean sweep. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be using the Shegu G90. Uh, we all know that my 991A is in the shop. And uh, one of my viewers, Ben, was nice enough to uh, send me uh, the G90 to use. And... Uh, Work out a purchase deal if I wanted to. So uh, hats off to him. Big, big, big help to the channel. And uh, we're going to do this thing QRP, the whole thing. Uh, uh, the G90 will do 20 watts, but we're going to turn it down to 10, and we're going to do QRP just for the extra challenge of it. So 13 colonies in seven days or less. Let's get it started. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November, QRP. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November, QRP. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November, QRP. QSL, you were a 5 9 in West Virginia, 73, and thank you. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. QSL, Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. You are a 5 9 in West Virginia. QSL, 73, and thanks for another one. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Again? Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Alpha 8, Papa. Kilo Echo 8.
Papa Zulu November. Zero Echo Eight, Papa November. Papa Zulu November. Papa Zanzibar November. Echo Eight, Papa Zulu November. QSL, you're 59 in West Virginia, and I'm QRP. Okay, excellent. Good signal. I'll thank you, QRP, for coming on to Georgia. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu November, QRP. Papa, Peter Zulu November. QSL, QSL, you are a 5'9 in West Virginia, 73, and thanks for another colony. <laughs> QSL, QSL. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. You are five nine as well. Kilo Echo Eight Papa Zulu November QRP. QSL, QSL. Kilo Echo 8, Peter Zanzibar, November. <laughs> Peter, Paul. Okay, Peter. Peter <laughs> QSL, QSL. Five nine in West Virginia, seventy three, and thank you. Kilo Echo Eight, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo Eight, Papa Zulu, November. Peter Zanzibar, November. QSI, you're a 5 9 West Virginia, 73, and thanks for another colony. We're getting there. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. USL, you're also a 5 9 in West Virginia, 73, and thanks for another one. <laughs> Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Roger that. You are also 5-9 West Virginia, 73, and thanks for another colony. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. You're also a 5-9 in West Virginia, 73, and thanks for another colony. Thank you for sending me to 5-7, this is the KQI, QRS.
Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November, you're 5 9 if you're ready. QSL, you're also 5 9, West Virginia, 73, and thanks for another colony. Thanks very much for West Virginia, 73. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Okay, Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. I think I got that right, Jay. Give me a 5 9 roll out. QSL, you're 5 9 in West Virginia, 73. With uh, with the Papa Echo, November? Papa Zulu, November. Zanzibar, November. November, okay, let me make that correction there. Uh, Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Uh, see here, Jay, you're 5 9 roll out. QSL, you're 5 9 in West Virginia, 73. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November, you're 5 9, we're out. QSL, you're 5 9 in West Virginia. Okay, gotcha. 73, good luck. QRZ 8. Oh, Kilo 4, courageous American Eagle, QSL. QSL, uh, appreciate you being there at Abbey Court, 73. 73, have a great day and be safe. QRZ. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. QSL, Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. QSL, you are a 5-9 in West Virginia. QSL, thank you very much for another calling. 73. 73, have a great day. QRZ. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November, QRP. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. Kilo Echo 8, Echo 8, Papa Zulu, November. QSL, you are a 5-9 in West Virginia. 5-9 West Virginia. Thank you very much. You're in my clean sweep. Happy Fourth. All right, guys, that's it. 13 colonies, and uh, we did it in five days. First couple of days, it was storming a lot, and I didn't get to uh, hunt for them a lot because I was constantly having to undo everything when the lightning and stuff was near. But clean sweep, five days, uh, and I did it all QRP, which was really awesome. So uh, this was a great event. I really had a good time doing it. I'll definitely be trying to do it again next year, depending on my scheduling and stuff like that. But it was a lot of fun. So uh, if you didn't do it this year, make sure and hit it up next year because it was a lot of fun uh, chasing everybody and breaking in the file-ups, especially on QRP, breaking in file-ups. Uh, it's a lot of work for sure. But it was a lot of fun. I like these special events, and I, I like uh, hunting the... Uh, stuff um it's kind of like hunting poda but uh the pileups were actually more intense because everybody only has a certain amount of time you know you can you can hunt activators all the time but you only had a certain amount of time to hunt these guys so it, it was pretty intense but a lot of fun so make sure and check it out next year and try something new in ham radio speaking of trying something new why don't you click up here in the corner and watch another video from ham radio adventure guy <laughs> Click down here in the corner and subscribe. Make sure and smash the like button and follow us on all social nice media. Nice plug. Sites. Nice plug. And I hope to catch you guys on the air soon. And until next time, thanks for sharing my adventure with me. Well, you're very much welcome, and thank you for sharing it with us. We appreciate that. See, you can talk the uh, whole world on Tim Watts. <laughs> he did all right. You know, I he was... didn't do too bad. He had to repeat his call sign over and over a few times i would like to have seen the terrain where he was at 
out there in that uh, in that park or wherever he was. Hey, that's funny. You should just say that, my Elmer, because that's one of the great things about going uh, CODA or going QRP, getting outside. Look at the scenery where he was operating from. That looked a whole lot more interesting than just another day in the radio room. He would have been lucky to get out uh, um, if it was uh, as densely uh, treed as it looked. But Is you never right? know. He, you know, trees tend to, in some aspects, it tends to soak soak up the signal, and you get blocked by it. Some most bands, most bands you don't, but some you do. Yeah. Uh, anything to he, uh, he seemed, you know, he does. He didn't have the oomph. His transmitter didn't have the oomph to really get through to where, and so he had to often repeat his call sign. I thought it was pretty humorous <laughs> as he broke into Zanzibar for uh, Z. Yeah. Uh, I, I, not certain that's in the phonetic alphabet, but then again, uh, we talked about some of the things you hear on field day, like yeah. the lady that used uh, Dorito for D. <laughs> Neither has been a very pretty virgin, but we use it. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, you know, so if Zanzibar is what gets you through, then Zanzibar, I, I just think that's ridiculous sounding, but that's just me. I know that uh, I know that I don't use Romeo like when I'm doing my call sign phonetically. Uh, it's uh, KG8 Kilo Golf 8 Radio Radio Yankee. I don't use Romeo. Romeo sounds goofy to me. And I'll tell you the guy that that first said KG8 RRY, and I heard him say it, and then I thought, oh, that sounds a whole lot better. And that was uh, Tim K uh, K3 L. Uh, uh, Tim from uh, DX K3 K3LR. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He was on, he said it back to me and I thought, oh, that sounds good. And so that's when I began to say it. I figured if it was good enough for Tim, it was good enough for me. <laughs> my so, phonetics there are, you go. My phonetics <laughs> are supposed to be uh, Ocean or uh, uh, Oscar Quebec Papa, but I usually yes. use o Ocean Queen Papa because a lot of times it's easier to hear that. Um, Oscar Quebec is one thing. If I'm trying to get through a, you know, and they can't hear me, then it, the Ocean Queen uh, kind of just slips out. I've gotten used to saying that. To, to when I meet somebody for the first time, they tell me they're a ham radio operator, and I'll say, what's your call sign? And they'll tell me the call sign. I do two things instantaneously in my head. Number one, I tap out their call sign in CW to see what it sounds like in CW. But the other thing I do is I say their call sign phonetically, or I pay attention to those letters, you know, like like N8OQP, oh, quiet, please, or whatever, whatever comes to my mind. Yep. And it's amazing some of the rotten things that come to your mind. Some people should change their, there That's is just a like place. That, just like that SMF call a little bit ago. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't even tell you what, I, what went through my mind when I saw that. <laughs> right. Well, and I know, <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that. But, but see, the point is, these things go through people's mind, and it goes to show you there is a reason. There is a util. There's a reason the vanity system is in place. You can get rid of that horrific sign if it's that bad, and yeah. you can move on to something else. My first uh, call sign was horrible for CW, and the one that I picked is just fantastic. So. Since I'm doing 95% CW, makes sense. I might want to have a call sign that sounds good in CW, right? I mean, I've got to sit there and repeat the thing over and over again. Yeah. You know how many times I repeated that call sign on field day? You know, it just, it just after a while, either you love it or it's going to make you puke one or the other. So uh, yep. have a good call sign. And a lot of these uh, special event stations are QRP now, and that's kind of cool. I noticed that we have some interesting, uh, and we'll get back to what we're talking about in a second, folks. I'm sorry. I, my advance apologies for my tangent here, but I want to talk real quickly on the special event stations that are going on. The Whiskey Rebellion station is going on right now, Pat. It's uh, Whiskey 3 Radio, and uh, they're out of uh, Washington, uh, Pennsylvania. Across, excuse me, Prosperity, Pennsylvania. And it's the Washington Amateur Communications Club that are, that's putting that on. So be listening out there for Whiskey 3 Rebellion. That's a very cool call sign. Uh, the World Games, is that soccer? I believe so. Oh, in that case, that station doesn't matter because soccer doesn't matter. 
<laughs> anyway, there's there's some world game station. Well, you just lost half the audience. Right now, but, but since it's since it's not football and since it's not baseball, then it's not fit to talk about. Some of the other special event stations that are going on right now, it, well, uh, will be in the next couple of days. The uh, Apollo 11 station will be going on the air. Do you remember, Pat, when you and I were kids in school and we would watch the teacher would wheel in this big card that had a TV on it, a yep. black and white television that had a big strap over the top that, that held it on the cart. Yep. And they would put on the moonwalks and we would get to watch the Apollo moonwalk, the men walk on the moon. It was very cool. I was in second grade and I watched John Glenn orbit the earth on, the, Isn't that cool? on a, on a, uh, on a TV like that, that they wheeled into the room. They brought what a all, great memory. And they brought all three of, there was three second grade classes and they brought all of us in this room because they thought it was really important. And we got yes. to watch him, we got to watch him blast off and go around the earth. That was awesome. As it, as it turns out, it was very important. And the kids today, they, you know, now it's just, just accepted that everybody just goes to the moon or everybody goes to space. But back in well, those days, this was all cutting edge. This had never been done before. Well, it you're was gonna, a big deal. Fortunately, these kids growing up now are going to be in uh, a place in history of their own. By the time they you will. get, by the time you get uh, the next five or so years in, you're going to have a uh, space station that uh, is uh, in an orbit be between the Earth and the uh, the Earth and, and the Moon. Yes. Uh, I've seen the plans for this. Uh, we had somebody from NASA come in here to the club back in September last year, I think it was. And we ended up, uh, he ended up showing us the uh, the plan to go to the moon and beyond. And that space station was going to be kind of a kind of a uh, starting point for all of it. Once well, you know what we're going to all need is ham operators. We're exactly. going to have to have new gear. I'd you like to be the first <laughs> one to talk ham from the moon. Would that be awesome? It really would be. You, that would be your place in the record books forever. And you it, know, who was the first ham radio? They'd be on trivia. Who was the first ham radio operator to ever send a transmission from the moon? Yep. What a cool place in history. Yep. And who was the first yeah. one to receive it? Pick me, pick me. Right. <laughs> yeah. That no, was that Jerry, K. Jerry down in uh, Massillon, Ohio. Ball play. Wouldn't that be a dream come true? Yes, Coming up uh, early in August, also a couple of great events, uh, special event stations on Pat. The Coast Guard birthday is coming up on the 4th of August, so listen for that station. And then uh, then uh, as the month goes on, it, it really becomes kind of packed again. Don't forget that uh, at the end of the month, uh, we've got a hand fest at MAPS Air Museum at the, uh, at the airport up at uh, Canton Akron there. So we'll be looking for you on the 30th of October. And I want to say, Pat, I could be wrong. I'll double check. But uh, I want to say that this upcoming weekend is the Trunk Fest down in Mansfield. And, and I hope I have that date right. But that, I think that's this upcoming that weekend. Sounds, that sounds about right. Yeah. I don't so remember we'll the exact date on that. Heading over to the big city over there, and that's just right across 30 for me. So that's about an hour away from here. I'll have to take a run over and see what it is they have there that I did not know that I could not live without. And that is the <laughs> magic of Hamfest right there. Okay, we were talking about the 13 Colony Station earlier. We were also talking about POTA. I found a great video on POTA. So let's run this thing. And right. uh, we'll use this to close our uh, program out today, and we'll talk after it's done. This is The World According to Elmer on the Crooked River Radio Network. CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, this is Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. 
from Kilo 1741. CQ parks on the air. CQ parks on the air. November 5, Hotel Alpha. November 5, Hotel Alpha, QSL. QSL, QSL, I have you 55 Louisiana, 55 Louisiana, over. QSL of 55 Louisiana, you're 55 Delaware, or Delaware, Kilo 1741, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're coming to the fade there, but you, I got the, I got the, I got the 55, thanks a lot, see you later. Thank you. Thank you, 73, QRZ parks on the air, this is Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. CQ Parks on the air. No, I have to get nine more. Yeah. A few minutes later. <laughs> CQ Parks on the air. Kilo 5, Tango, X-ray, Quebec. Kilo 5, Tango, X-ray, Quebec, QSL. Uh, QSL. We are one Alpha, North Texas. Ten minutes later. CQ Parks on the air. CQ Parks on the air. This is Kilo Three, Juliet Romeo Zulu. Kilo Lima Seven. Kilo Lima Seven, Tango Charlie. Kilo Lima Seven, Tango Charlie. Uh, QSL, you're a five nine here to Delaware. Kilo One Seven Four One, QSL. Roger, roger, one, six, four, one. You're four and one, four by one, 41 in Alaska, in Alaska with horrible, horrible fan conditions. Over. QSL, QSL, I'll take four, one from Alaska any day. Uh, have a good night. Thanks for the contact, seven, three. Yeah, nice to work. Nice call. Seven, three. Number five, Hotel Alpha. November five, Hotel Alpha. You're a 5-9 here to Delaware, Kilo 1741. QSL, QSL, 5-9, Louisiana. Thanks for the second band. Have a great night. N5HA, 73. All right, thanks for the contact uh, again in 7-3. A few minutes later. On the air, this is Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. <laughs> CQ, parks on the air. All right, station ending in Romeo Delta again, please. Uh, yes, the call is uh, Hotel Italy 8 Romeo Delta, H-I-8-L-D. Uh, you are 5-9 in Dominican Republic. QSL the 5-9 from Dominican Republic. You're 5-9 to Delaware. Kilo 1741, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL. Thank you for the activation. And uh, 73, thank you for being there. All right, thank you for the contact. Have a good night in 73. A few moments that later. That was a great contact. Great contact. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the Ontario. 73, Whiskey 4 Sierra, November Whiskey. Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. Kilo 2, Juliet Romo, uh, question mark from... 54 Sierra November Whiskey. We are one Delta, one Delta West Central Florida. QSL, the call sign is Kilo 3. Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. QSL? QSL, Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo, Romeo Zulu. And uh, what's your uh, uh, report? It's 1 Alpha Delta Echo. 1 Alpha Delta Echo. QSL? 1 Alpha. I got the 1 Alpha. I need your section. Over. Delta Echo, Delta Echo, Delaware. Delaware, very good. Thank you very much. Seven threes and good luck in the contest. Seventy-three. Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> one Delta, November Charlie. Here is November one Fox Delta. Q is that? Kilo three, Juliet Romeo Zulu. I, I did hear a station come back, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't work. Try again. Kilo three, Juliet Romeo Zulu. QSL, QSL, I am 1 Alpha, Delta Echo. 1 Alpha, Delta Echo. QSL, 1 Alpha, Delta Echo. Thanks for the call. This is November 1, Fox Delta, QSL. Just then. You know what? <laughs> video in this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes.
And so there you go. Off he goes into the uh, off he goes into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other side of Poda. I talked earlier about how what wasn't that a beautiful setting that man was in, and he was out there just having a real good time doing thirteen colonies and the trees and the the water and the blue sky. Now here's a guy out doing Poda that has a spider almost land on his head. Did you see that spider yeah, come I down? Saw that. <laughs> I'd have had a heart attack and I would have died right there in the park. They'd have been wheeling me out and the ambulance would have arrived. Uh, as soon as that spider came, you know, that's like little Miss Muppet, the spider came down. Well, there you go. So you got to be careful when you're out there in the wild uh, doing radio. The spiders are no re respecter of persons, but he was fighting the spiders and the bugs and they are everything else. And here's the thing. You're right. Uh, you talked about timing. You've got to have skill to pull that off, Pat, because you don't have any power behind you, and they can barely hear you. You know, I was watching him, um, that last one there, and um, if you listen to him close, he was just, he was waiting until the guy would just get start the last letter of his uh, his call sign, and he'd key up and that's how he was getting through that and that's how that first guy was getting through you know yes. he was getting there before any of the other ones were and like i said that's timing you have to sit and listen and if you've the guy's got a four four letter call sign if he does three letters and then starts the fourth one you can key and he'll likely hear you at least part of your call when he gets when he unkeys the mic yes yeah, it's, it's all well, timing. And, and that and that's the thing and, and how do you get timing you get timing through experience. And, you know, yeah. until you've made a few of those calls, you really don't know what that radio is. It's like when you buy your radio. Any of us, when we buy whatever our daily driver radio is, we have no clue how it's going to go with that radio until we have the chance to take it out on the air and, and put it through its paces and, and know, find out what it can do. This is, this is true with a lot of these newer radios, too. You need to take and be able to get somewhere... We, ought to, we actually ought to do a show on tuning these radios as far as the mm -hmm. audio. I know the 7300 I've got. I've actually listened to it myself. I know what I, I – because I wanted – you actually have to have punch. That's one of the key – you can run five, five watts, and if you've got five watts of, uh, of audio, you're not going to get that far. But if you're running five watts and you've got 50 watts of punch – you know, 50 watts of loudness behind you. Yes. That's going to get you a lot further. And uh, that's why these people, a lot of times on the air, you'll hear these people with these beautiful sounding microphones. That's why they're doing that. Yeah. You know who we should have on our show, and we can talk about that, because he did a presentation on that uh, down at Invention, is my friend Bob Heil. Oh, that would be great. I'd love to have yeah. that. Yeah, let's, let's set it up for Bob in the next uh, few weeks to join us. I'll, I'll reach out to him tonight and see if I can uh, try to firm a date up. That would be great if you can do it. Okay. But, but uh, I think we I have a lot of questions I'd up, like to but, ask him. <laughs> well, start start thinking of them, and we'll, we'll, do a, uh, we'll do a show on equalization and the uh, new radios, the, specifically the ICOMs and the ASUS have specific equalization uh, issues that he is prepared to address and and uh, he gave a great presentation on this down at Amvention. so i know he has this presentation at his fingerprint uh fingertips so uh, we'll get Love with him and see if we can get that arranged well with that folks thanks for joining us we're glad that you were here with us this evening hope you learned something tonight hope you enjoyed the program got to see some uh some qsls some qso's uh done some future QSL cards coming tonight on the show. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Be with us next Tuesday night right here on Crooked River Radio for the world according to Elmer. That is our Elmer sitting right over there. He is Pat Morrow, N8OQP, and I'm Jerry Sorensen, KG8RRY. Until next week, get out there, have some fun on the bands, finish up 13 colonies, uh, get 13 colonies on 40, Get all your 13 colonies on 80. You know, get, get them a couple different ways and have fun with it. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Until then, 73 all. 
Seven three, y'all. Next week. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of the Crooked River Radio Network. See you again soon.